gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Rum Hotter. I'm Brian, Brian Man Peacock. And I am the coach, Coach Brooks. He's back. Brooks, you should get a little closer to the mic. <laughs> or push the mic a little farther this way. Can you hear me now? Uh, well, we can still hear closer you. Closer to me. Closer, yeah. Closer to him. He's, farther from you. He's loud like me. He's loud like me too. Yeah, I know. So I you don't. You always put the mic like right next to you. This was in my butt. <laughs> Are you hanging yourself, son? Yeah. Like Someone hang should butt. email just that clip to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna auto tune that. This was in my butt. <laughs> We're gonna make that a rap song. In my butt. In my butt. This was in my butt. It's already happened. <laughs> Damn. So we just watched Triple H. Showed up at ICW. That was, yeah. It's it's not a surprise, it's just cool, because they have a really good working relationship with ICW. Right, yeah. That's where I think a lot of their UK contenders came from. Yeah. And, and he mentioned uh, Progress as well. Yes. Yeah, I think those two have a, a pretty close connection with WWE. And, uh... I guess the question is now because, you know, we, the other clip from the UK was uh, Triple H joining the Shield for, for a day. Yeah. Which is pretty great. Um, then we'll talk about that a little bit later. We're going to talk about, you know, who we would like to see join the Shield. <laughs> but uh, they also chanted, we want WrestleMania. Right. What do you guys think the odds of that are? <clears throat> They're never going to happen. I think it might. Never going to happen. I agree with Brooks. Never. To me... This is them saying ICW is WWE in the UK. Basically. We're going to build them up so that they can afford their own WrestleMania. Kind of. I think we would see it. Um, uh, you know, maybe not. I just, I wonder. You never see it. Is the infrastructure not there? Because for WWE to move oh, all yeah. their shit here, yeah. they don't have anything. It's just not that. It's the time frame. But it's also the the all the stuff they'd have to transport. There ain't no problem. The, they, they, they they would probably they, just build it over there. Bro, they they have pay per views over there all the time. But not WrestleMania. That's what. But it ain't gonna be no different. With extra planes. Put you know, put a ramp on that. Ain't no, that ain't no, it's the time and the money they're gonna be losing sure. in America. Because WrestleMania is an America event. Sure. An American event. And you take it over there across the water. We're gonna be sleeping. They're gonna be shooting fireworks off. It's true. They ain't making money over here for that. Yeah. Yeah, but the UK fans will come here. That's And I read right. something about that, and they really have it here, so they can come to America. Yeah. That's a vacation for them. Right. Yeah, so, Americans <clears throat> probably not going to have it. It's never Amer- gonna and Americans don't take as many vacations as Europeans anyway. We ain't got that much money. We just can't. Just, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole political thing, though. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want to talk about that. That's <laughs> yeah, all the show is. Let's not get into politics on this show. Hell to the no. <laughs> Bye. Me looking at this ICW, it kind of reminds me of ECW. Yeah, definitely. What what they were doing back in the day to bolster ECW. Okay, but what if they did this? What if they took, uh, what is the main pay-per-view they do? Revolution or something like that? ICW? No, uh, the WWE pay-per-view they do in Europe. Oh. Is it Revolution or something Um, like that? uh, That's a good question. Well, what if they took that and they ramped it the hell up to like Wrestlemania and a half. Yeah. Or like like So like a SummerSlam or something. Yeah, like a SummerSlam's like level event. Yeah, they should. And like yeah. have an ICW invasion or a versus ICW thing. Or maybe not even maybe not even that. Just You know what'll be cool? If they want to get their fans over there in London and Eng- or England involved, have the WWE and New at it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, but we're also... A, they can have... Like, excuse me, bro. Like, what? they got the invasion. We had the invasion in WWE. Yeah. We could have a full invasion in Wembley Stadium. WWE versus New Japan. That'd be pretty wild. But we're also... No one has mentioned the most exciting thing I think he said. What's that? 
where he said, if you think WWE is big, you haven't seen anything yet. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, are they just going to set ICW up to be the, the, the UK's WWE? Well... Which they're probably not terribly far from. That wouldn't be any bigger than WWE, though. What I think he meant is what if, you know, there's ICW, there's New Japan, there's WWE. What if Triple H starts his own global force wrestling? So now, now think about saying... it. Global force <laughs> is terrible. Yeah. But what if Triple H did it and did it the right way? Like legitimately left WWE though? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, like he has an NXT. That's what, that's he what has. I'm gonna ask. No, yeah, definitely he's not leaving. Oh, how about saying <laughs> No, like what if like as a branch off of WWE, there is a literal intercontinental promotion. He said, if, if you think WWE is big, you haven't seen anything yet. You know what? My mind immediately snapped to a literal intercontinental... Which is what, funnily enough, TNA tried. Right, yeah. <laughs> Which is like, why? You can't even handle your small shit. Yeah, but TNA ain't got resources like Triple H. No. Though, so. yeah. and even, since, you look, just, since, you, since you put it like that, yeah, it kind of clicked in my head. Yeah. Right? I kind of see want to see an international do, warfare. I mean, they're taking over India... So it's like do a tour of the UK, to? go into India, go into Japan, go back to the UK, go into India. You know why they're doing all this? Because they're scared of New Japan. Yeah. They are frightened by New sure. Japan. I think so. That's why Triple H doing all this stuff. Yeah, that makes me and happy. Here's the thing. I think that's the wrong verbiage. I don't think they're afraid of New Japan. I think that's the wrong aware. way of putting it. Yeah, aware. I don't... I, I, Dude, no matter how big New Japan gets, they will never defeat WWE. And I... In America. In America, sure. I think they can. Give it a couple years, I think they can. They're too entrenched in just, you know, the ad revenue and YouTube and network and the tours and everyone knows WWE. WWE like has... going under or Coke going under. WWE has their own film studio. I'm not saying that, That's... but you know what? They ain't putting product in and wearing like we like it, though. That's... New Japan is. Yeah, definitely. And basically, they just, we'll talk about that later, but they just announced the match that, that knocks out like three or four WrestleManias out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, hell. I'm, I'm going to say it. They're afraid of New Japan. I hope so. I want them to be. I may, I may, I may be saying it wrong. Yeah. But I think they're afraid of Yeah, And it's in the back of their head like, shit. They got some of their sleep. Maybe on. not they. And like, I still think afraid is like, I think aware is probably better. But I don't think it's they. I think it's Triple H. Right. <laughs> is very aware. And he's like, okay, I got to start move, making moves now while Vince is still just, ah, John Cena. <laughs> oh, God. John Cena, roll the You still can't see me now. And Triple H is just like, yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I you know, it builds up to Triple H. Like, Pete Dunne would be champion. Or... Yo, who knows who else? Well, who knows what storylines we would have? Well, Bullet Club would be in the WWE. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. If Triple H took over, if they're not already. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know about that. Don't this is something I was thinking about. You know, everyone keeps saying, "Sign Bullet Club, sign Bullet Club." Do they really need? Do we really need every popular thing to just get immediately signed? I think that's a bad thing. Not immediately, but like by part by part. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, all right, they got a, they got Finn. Now here come AJ. It's yeah. Little times AJ like deserved that. it. It was, oh, there was yeah. no... I, I agree with you on that But one. somebody like, like Ricochet even. Actually, Ricochet is probably a bad example. Somebody like, uh... Ah, uh, God, I can't even think of... Or, we'll just use Ricochet as an example. He's a guy who's got... He's an incredible athlete. He could probably use more character work. And then just let him flourish on the Indies because he's clearly doing fine. You know, it's like whatever the hot thing is now, whoever gets over in PWG, just sign him. Nah, leave him. Let him stay on the Indies for a while. Let him build his character. Let him build his, his reputation. Everybody thinks you just need to immediately sign everybody. There's some people sense? who don't want to be signed. Definitely, like who, the Bucks. Right. They're like, yeah, it's fine. A, a ton of people that don't want to be signed. Trent Beretta, probably not. <laughs> it's like, it's, I tried. Nah, he, he already tried it. You see what happened. But now look at him. Yeah. 
you know, he facing Kenny <laughs> Omega for the U.S. Championship. Just like that, you know, he's, he's doing his thing. And signing him doesn't mean we're going to get that same, you know, performance. Well, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm... I almost don't want Ricochet to go to WWE. Yeah, because what is he going to be allowed to do? Are they going yeah, to put him, at, going to toss him on two hundred five for a little bit? Look at Kalisto. Yeah, he used to be Samurai Del Sol. He's still really good. Right. He's not Samurai Del Sol. Right. Yeah, we're not going to get the same Ricochet. No, and and or I, even Prince Puma. Yeah. Or I whoever love you Prince Puma. I know, right? Oh my God, I love watching him wrestle. Holy crap. Ricochet is just, he's so good. But yeah, I just think some guys should just, not for lack of effort, but it's just be left on the Indies. Bullet Club, just leave him in New Japan. That's a New Japan thing. Yeah. I would like to see him invade WWE, though. Sure. I'm sure we will. Then, like, I'm well, the also trying to send join in with him. It AJ would, and Finn join It would be a them. very cool thing. And you realize how many people were like subscribe for the network just to watch that? Bullet That's Club is make. the reason I got back into wrestling. It was the reason this podcast kind of started. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because I wasn't watching. I didn't care about wrestling before I saw Bullet Club. Is that pretty much the reason you started? To get back into it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100% because I didn't care. You should go back and listen to episode one. <laughs> and uh, that was about the time. It was a bit before that you started watching wrestling again. It was a little bit before that, yeah. but that was it. Was Bullet Club that brought me back in? I guess it doesn't help that you know Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and all these other guys were in WWE. Like all the guys you were familiar with. Yeah, then I saw they were all being signed, and so that was that helped. Yeah, NXT helped. Yeah, and right now, like, like. I really haven't cared until I saw what we're going to talk about later. Yeah. And I I want to k- catch up on what's been going on with Aleister Black, but other than that, I don't care about what's on SmackDown at all. Yeah, it's a little bit of a lull right now. Survivor Series is fairly exciting. I think that's going to be dumb. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and make some predictions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. For Survivor Series. They got, they got everybody in a group and all that stuff? They got their teams? Uh, I don't know. No, not entirely. Let, let me look I keep on seeing different pictures of different people on the team. Yeah. Uh, right now. Piss me off. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with it exactly. But I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm excited for it. The one thing I'm excited about I know we're going to watch it. Angle wrestle again. See if he still got it. That's he what was, I'm excited He for. wrestled uh, the last show. It was pretty good. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was watching football. Oh, and he came out with the shield. Oh shit! Boy, hey, that's why. <laughs> that's why later we're going to talk about who we want to see join the shield for a day. So right so, okay. now we know Team Raw is Kurt Angle as captain and Braun Strowman. So right there, that's their team. <laughs> okay, solid. Got it. Okay. Next team. SmackDown is Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Bobby Roode. I forgot Bobby Roode got called up. They're missing yeah. a big guy. What's that? SmackDown missing a big guy. Uh, they, need, they need a big, big, you know what I mean? Like Braun Strowman, Raw. Um, they need somebody big for SmackDown, you know what I mean? Who is it, though? They who, need who, the who, Bludgeon who Brothers. Oh, they just made their debut in Dublin. I saw that. Who is that? The Bludgeon Brothers. Harper and Rowan. Dude, I just saw a picture of them before I came over here. Yeah. I had to, like, do a triple take. I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> they look so badass. Yeah, they're the Bludgeon Brothers, which I think is They great. don't even look like Brooksville people no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Bray's on SmackDown. No, he's on Raw. Oh, he's on Raw. He's I mean, he been gone for a while, though. I don't know. Who's a big guy that's on SmackDown? I don't think they have a big guy on SmackDown. Yeah, it's possible. Rusev. Yeah, Rusev is. I think he's going to have a match to decide. It's going to be Rusev for, and, uh, oh, my God. I just saw this. It doesn't matter. It's going to be Rusev and somebody else. They're going to see who's going to be on Team SmackDown. So, yeah, Rusev versus Braun Strowman. That'd be interesting. You know, Rusev's not big, but he is super strong. And Rusev is as athletic as a big guy can get. Rusev Machka. Isn't he an Uso now? Yeah, I keep seeing that. 
They should pull a trigger on that. Do it. Rusev's not doing nothing. Yeah. He got that one dude that sang it to him. I'm pretty, gay. I'm pretty stupid. That's who he's having a match with, I think. Rusev and uh, Aiden English. So hopefully it's Rusev wins that match. He will. As much as I like Aiden English. Rusev will win that. He'll be on SmackDown, Team SmackDown. And he'll get the ass smacked around by Raw. Because it's Kurt Angle. Pretty much, yeah. Maybe. Um, mm-hmm. Did you see the Under Siege thing from SmackDown? I missed that. Uh, it was actually. on Raw, and Shane McMahon showed up on Raw, and uh, it was you know kind of promo on Kurt, and just told him Under Siege in SmackDown showed up and kicked the shit out of the locker room. You know, I missed that. We had a football game that night. It was that a was game. pretty cool. <clears throat> I was pretty upset because I wanted to see that. Because when I looked on Twitter, riding home on the bus, yep. and I'm like, shit. Yeah, and so, and I was kind of wondering, like, so how do you make one team heels and one team faces? Because you pretty much do that in wrestling. You, I guess you put one of them under siege. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was pretty cool. Then you look at these comments from these moms and stuff, and it's like, bitch, go to Walmart or something. Go, go yeah. Some what? Shit. Yeah, it was too violent. I don't uh, like under siege. Well, it's, we it's watched violent. that with some people, and they were like, "That's not a real fight." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. My kid, when we pulled our subscription, we would not be watching this anymore. Seriously? Wait, what were you looking at though? Were you looking you, at there, the joke Twitter account? No, it wasn't a joke Twitter. Account. Oh, okay. yeah. There like is, there like, was WWE moms, and it's <laughs> no, no. Maybe that was, I don't think that was it. Like I think there was some legit concern. It, it was. It was like I legit was, in air quotes concern that the the they siege like, they was. Like, uh, them coming in and jumping people because their kids was watching. <laughs> this is what happens like every week. It's like, how do you think you got here, kid? Your dad jumped your mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, but we'll get to that later on. That happens like all the time. I like, guess just not on that level, but... You know what I say? Fuck them bitches. Let's get it on. Fuck them bitches. That's the name of the episode. No, we can't name it that. <laughs> can't name it that. <laughs> So no, I did get away with a couple weeks ago the sound of a million wrestling fans is like four stars themselves. I laughed when I saw that. I laughed so hard when I saw that. I was like, should I? I should. <laughs> uh, we're also going to get Team Raw versus Team SmackDown in a women's elimination match. Oh, God. Really? Because I, I was watching Raw. And Ali, what's her name? Alicia Fox? Yeah, uh, She's yeah. a captain. Oh, okay. It doesn't say that. But listen, she's on that. That's, uh, uh, it's in Tamina Snooker's on her team. Nia Jax. Her team Raw. Well, that's what I'm sorry. I don't know why I get them too confused. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I apologize for y'all why, listening to this. Don't come with my ass. Oh. <laughs> Tamina, if you do, I welcome you. But now, no. But anyway, and the way Alicia was acting, it's like, I'm done with this shit. We what? saw Alicia try to pin somebody outside of the ring. Yeah. Are we, is Sasha, I think she had a match with. I okay. I need to make a confession on the podcast right now. Uh oh. I've said before that Alicia Fox is really good. I want to retract that statement. <laughs> no, I thought she had a good match once. She's had matches that were good. Because I know well, I was surprised. Good. I don't know what's happening. I haven't seen the girl. Good it's the shit. same thing that's happening. The same thing that's happening with Natalia. We were noticing like, oh, now there's actual good women wrestling. <laughs> No, no it was recent. Good. I don't think I knew she could wrestle at all, though. I think that's what my, she, my thing her was. Her and Natalia were, like, the only two back in the day that were really good. Uh, well, Paige, I guess. Um, and then, like, the Bellas were, like, okay, and then the rest of them were terrible. Right. But maybe they were actually terrible. We just didn't yeah. know. <laughs> but I think, you know, like, especially with Natalia, she trains all them girls. So, of course, she's going to be sitting behind them because she trained them to be better than them. No, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of them girls were trained and mentored by Natalia. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And all that stuff. So, it's like, that I saw an episode, and don't judge me, but I oh, watched I Total Divas a little bit. I, I watch Total Divas. Yeah, he watches it all the time. I, I watch it. I haven't watched the new stuff. I've never I seen it. I can't watch the new stuff. I got, bought me a six-pack, got some pork rinds, and sitting there and watching Total Divas. Pork rinds are fucking good. Amen. Barbecue pork rinds. And no carbs. That's <laughs> just, true. Just saw that out there. That's, that's true. Um, I sat there and I saw Natalia. You know, she went crazy. You know, all these, why is she going on WrestleMania? How come she getting this spotlight, but I'm not? And I'm like, stop training, motherfucking bitches, and you'll get up there. 
I guess I, Alexa Bliss is going to be on the show now. <clears throat> yeah. It was, oh, yeah. It was yeah. on her Instagram. I was sad. Oh, she shouldn't, because every time a girl goes in there, their career goes down. Yeah, like Summer Ray. She gone. She's gone. Yeah. That sucks. She oh, gone. you know who did not get signed? Did you see this? Did not get signed? Yeah, I was pretty pissed. What? Uh, Tony Storm. Oh. And Piper Niven. Neither one were offered contracts. Piper didn't have the best matches. Although. Like, I was... I know she's had better matches. Yes. So... <laughs> I don't know. But Tony Storm, I'm really surprised about. Cause she... Maybe they didn't want to get signed. Ooh, what was that? Maybe. Y'all remember the, the what's it, Ascension? What's yeah. Ascension, yeah. You know they still with the WWE? Yeah. I thought it was gone. Yeah. No. I got a WWE on Snapchat, and it, it was across the water, and also I see them. I'm like, the fuck are they doing there? They... <laughs> that, talk about a waste of talent. Last I saw of them, they were feuding with... Uh, the fashion police. They're not feuding anymore. They're, they're together. Like a faction. Yeah, that's huh? that's why I saw. Fashion police and Ascension are like a faction now. Because, together? Yeah, because they walked the fashion police to the ring. Yeah. Then they stopped in the fashion the police with the ring. Hey. The fuck? <laughs> we're we're happy. We're singing and brother. We should stop talking about this. Brian's gonna stop watching wrestling. Uh, I've already stopped. <laughs> what are you gonna talking about. Alright, forget about that. Let's, let's talk about some real shit. Oh yeah, Team SmackDown is Becky Lynch, Carmella, Charlotte, Naomi, <clears> and Tamina. So, that's pretty solid. I mean, that's just like their roster, pretty much. Is yeah, that that's, that's the problem with that, though, is it is going to take almost the whole roster. Yeah. I think the women's roster on both sides needs to be tripled. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. We're going to get uh, Enzo Amore versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, thank God. Enzo Amore, the greatest Cruiserweight tag, Cruiserweight tag, Cruiserweight champion of all time. Hmm. 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 Yeah, of course we're going to disagree. We're not, we're not, <laughs> we're, there's no reason we would agree with you right now. Too many boxes. Yeah, well, we had a party. <laughs> we had a party like a week ago. Yeah, we had a party a week ago, and we're still trying to clean up from it. Um... I just think Enzo's like one of the best heels I've seen in a long time. Yeah? He's really got people hating him. I do like this, that. Yeah. He's like, like, I like how much people actually hate him. He's got like TMZ involved in shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like how le- how much legit hate he has behind him. I ain't got no yeah. problem with the old fella. He just ain't the best, though. No. Right. But he, he's making up for it with character. He got a mouth and he know how to use it. Yeah. I mean, he's not doing as good as Cass. No. <laughs> Where is care? Who the fuck does? Who cares? <laughs> I don't care. You know who no, else wasn't? See. You know who else wasn't the best wrestler of all time, but was great on the mic? Huh. The Rock. He wasn't the best wrestler. Oh, I mean, no, he was okay, entertaining. No. no, maybe not the best. Oh. As far as like, oh, oh. <laughs> Jeremy's got a problem. No, I don't. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. No, like seriously, like he he, put on, he puts on good matches. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to. I'm try, because he he was stiff. He's he's a jock. Yeah. You know he's stiff. He you wrestles the way Cena wrestles. He puts on just intense story matches. Yeah. As opposed to somebody like a Kurt Angle or a Chris Benoit who put on great technical matches. You said he wrestles like Cena does. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that one. They both stiff. They both famous. They both got you know, but The Rock grew up in the wrong time, the right time. Sure. Right. Attitude there. Oh, yeah. 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 And to this day, no one, no one can sell a stunner like The Rock can. <laughs> I'll tell you that motherfucker, he does an oopty oopty, a 360 uh, yeah. over under, and it's like, holy shit. <laughs> I will watch <laughs> compilations of The Rock the getting stunners. That's what Enzo needs. He needs to start selling <laughs> stuff ridiculously. He does. You know who else used to sell? <laughs> kind of. You know who else used to sell really, really well? Or just over the top? Shawn Michaels? He did against Hulk Hogan at one time. Devon. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, when he get hit in the head with a chair? <laughs> yeah. He's like, he caught the Holy Ghost. Oh my God. Okay, oh, speaking yeah. of selling and Enzo, uh-huh. I forget who the match was. I want to say it was uh, Cesaro, but I don't think that was right. But anyway, someone went to throw him over the top rope, and he like he hit the top rope like on his waist, and instead of flipping over, he kind of it bounced him back, and then he, he took a second, 
grab the rope, and then jump back over and continue to sell. It was so bad. Oh, man. I was so mad when I saw it. I was like, why didn't you just turn the fuck around, yeah. let him hit you again, and then just... Oh, I was mad. Damn. I, I'm very curious to where Enzo is going to be in five years. Not with the WWE. In a year. <laughs> I'm wondering. You don't think so? No. Nah. He's <laughs> building up a reputation. He is, right but now. people, they're going to start getting tired. They ain't got nowhere else to put him. Two or five line is right where they need him. They're going to they get sick of him there. It's going to be the same shit, 205. If he can evolve the character he took from NXT to WWE, now he's evolved into this evil Enzo. If he can just keep doing that, he'll be fine. Or well, unless him and his boy Cassidy get back together. That'll happen eventually. And I don't see him lasting long. It's, you know, if he was good at wrestling shit, he won't be on 205. But being on 205, being around wrestlers of that caliber, hopefully he gets much better. Hopefully. Uh, Doesn't he have like a little posse right now? Yeah. Yeah. So Mean that's Street the, Posse. That's, it almost doesn't good. need to be good. Yeah. I saw an episode of that where him and his posse was jumping like two people. Yeah. I thought like, about Shane McMahon, the boys from Connecticut. I think the best thing for Enzo would <laughs> yeah. be to transfer into like a manager role. I think I've said that for a while though. I thought he was at first. He almost was when he and Cass were together. He could fight yeah. for a little bit. Get thrown across the ring. And he like laid a fucking hour and then cast the rest. <laughs> oh. He's just, he's taking what he's got and he's making lemonade with it. Look, hey, yeah. I ain't mad. He making some sweet ass lemonade because I ain't mad at the fella. Yeah. I, I just, unless he do something extravagant, I don't see him lasting long. We'll see. I hate, I hate to but, say uh, it, but. We got the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Amber and Seth Rollins versus the Usos. SmackDown Tag Team Champions. That'll be a good match. As much as the whole thug thing is obnoxious with the Usos, they're still really good. That's true. So, and I don't really like the Shield, but I st- that could be a good match. Yeah. I, I see that as a good match. Usos would give a good match. Uh, I think the Usos should win. Nah, they ain't gonna win. No? I don't think they're going yeah, to, they but win. I wouldn't mind either way. If the, if the Shield actually gonna get back together, like legit, they ain't gonna win. They're back together. Legit? Yeah. Roman's just got a infection or whatever right now. Yeah, ah! I'm sick. Mumps? Is that always? I think that's what we Both came up with. That's what... Yeah, him and him and Bray Wyatt and uh and Sister Bray Abigail. Was... <laughs> yeah. I mean, nah, hang on. I'm gonna stop. Never mind. I was Never really mind. hoping Sarah Logan would have been Sister Abigail. <clears throat> no, it's Bray Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, out. I saw one picture of it. I was like, all right, I'm done here. Yeah, that's like the worst. That's, I saw I the, the thing I saw it on. It was uh, it was like a it was done up like a poster, and it was him and Finn. It was uh, man versus man, deeper, and then it was uh, like yeah, man versus that woman or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be an intergender match. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Why? It's a girl in my church named Abigail. I asked her, are you related to Bray Wyatt? Yeah. She's like, what? No, my. I want to say <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, God, I hate my life. And then we're, oh, this is not going to be a good match. The Miz versus Baron Corbin. I hope Baron Corbin beat the shit out of him. Miz is like a solidly okay wrestler. Corbin's getting better. That's not going to be a great match. <laughs> what happened to Corbin? He was like on top for like. He's back up. I, just, I, I got Did confused. you see him win the, the U.S. championship? He I think killed I AJ. <laughs> he should. He's a beast. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm happy to see him. He's like, he won people. money in the bank and all of a sudden, whoop. Brian's just not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to take a bathroom break for that match? <laughs> yeah, that's when... <laughs> That's because I usually do laundries on su- laundry, laundry yeah. Sunday nights, so that's going to be my laundry match. <laughs> the match is going to come on and you're going to be like, I'm Aaron to do. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Uh, we'll run up to the store. Oh, God. This is going to be not a good match either. I hope they put him back to back. That'd Alexa long... Bliss versus Natalia. Well, that's to be a long ass nap. Yeah. Two, I mean... big, two big booties rolling around. I might watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope I'm wrong. I, I hope just... you're wrong. Alexa's incredible. Natalia's just not. 
Every time it seems recently there's a botch in a women's match that involves Natalia. Every time. Yeah, she. Yeah, I might take a nap on that match too. Yeah. And then you're gonna wake the fuck up because it's Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal. I might take a nap on that one too. Really? <laughs> Come on now. Come on, don't assume it was Jinder. <laughs> <laughs> we already used that as a title. Yeah, but I can still use this line in the show, especially because Brooks wasn't here for it. So are you telling me I, su- I shouldn't assume gender? Is yeah. Win? <laughs> now, and like I said last week, I think gender was just like I would really like Brock Lesnar to beat me. Yeah, he Please. didn't challenge him to Brock <laughs> Bryce. He didn't challenge him to a match. He challenged. <laughs> he asked Brock Lesnar to beat him. Yeah. You know what? I I got a feeling that gender's gonna win that. Really. I do too. I, cause I think I Brock get so. ready to leave. To be honest with you, Brock's either gonna beat him in two <clears throat> seconds, or Jinder's yeah, gonna put gonna, a bigger fight than everyone realizes. He's gonna he gonna cheat his way into a victory. Or, what if Brock maims Jinder, and Jinder has to give up the belt? Oh god, that would be glorious. <laughs> oh no, because then he would get it. No, it's not a championship match. No, because I said glorious. Bobby Roode would end up with it. That's oh, even yeah. worse. Oh. oh, yeah, you don't like Bobby. I don't like Bobby I've never liked Bobby Roode. Even in Team Canada, I didn't like Bobby Roode. Wrong. <laughs> it's Canada. Wrong. It was in Canada, not... He's glorious. Leave him alone. So, yeah, I don't know what else we're going to get from Survivor Series. But uh, that's what we got for now. Um, I'm actually... I think I'm more excited for uh, War Games. Yeah, me too. Because it's going to be... 10,000%. Sanity versus AOP with Roderick Strong. How did that happen? I don't know. (laughs) I'm going to have to catch up on NXT. Versus... Oh, uh, obviously Undisputed. Yeah. I'm just calling them Undisputed, by the way. Uh, Yeah, that's better. (laughs) Because people are not time. That's right. We're just referencing all of our podcasts today. (laughs) Jeez. Just call me The Hour. Hey, did you listen to that one? Oh, he I got, got so got mad. I'm real mad. I'm about to listen to it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I go the fuck off. Because you, you, people are not are not measurements of time. All right, we already did this. So, supposedly, <laughs> we'll do it again. speaking of NXT, Hideo Itami's going to 205 Live. Okay. Hmm. Be a good move. Yeah. He, need, he should be the next big contender to... Uh, to uh, Enzo. Enzo, right? Enzo's champion right now? <clears throat> I thought somebody else won. I think. Yeah, I think that's what okay. happened. Uh, or whoever. And also a little bit more NXT news. And you're being going to be a sport, Alec, about this sort of Fulton got released. Yeah, finally. <laughs> it's a shame, man. It is. He tried he, so hard. He did. He, like, he was plus for effort. I don't understand. This is the you're same stuck thing with, with Emma. It, is like, you finally got this person where they're like, all right, I'm here. And then it's like, no, you're not. Get out. That pissed me off right there, to be honest with you. It doesn't make any sense. Which it's one? Emma. 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 They did all that for nothing. I saw one reason was because she didn't want to do the... Emelina? Yeah. Good Good for her. That yeah. would have that that ruined her. Man. She ain't no fucking... She's a fucking tomboy. She ain't no freaking... Pretty girl, girl to get to get nasty. She wanted to pop some bubbles, I guess. I don't know. I I love that version of Emma, but Emma Lena is like I didn't. Yeah. Also, I'm happy she stood up for herself. She's yeah. gonna make it big on the indie circuit. She she'll is. be fine. People are already reaching out to her. She'll be fine. Uh, also, apparently, Paige could be days away from a WWE return. That girl uh, lost a lot of weight. Uh, I you know. We'll see. Paige used to be my favorite women's wrestler. Now that she's with Alberto Del Douchebag, I just... I thought they broke up. No, they really break up. They get into big fights at airports, and they get police involved, and they're like... They like, they like the hated couple in Orlando right now. They're ju- they're just like low-class scum. Like, I don't understand why they act like... like it's like, I want to feel bad for her, but I don't. Because she keep on, Because she keeps on going back. Yeah. So that's like, all right, bitch, look, you're ruining yourself. Yeah. You're ruining, you, you, first of all, you're losing lots of money for this douchebag. Second, you're losing your career for this douchebag. It's like your family is trying to help you and you turn them away. You, you basically, tur- 
turn your back on your family for somebody that basically beats the fuck out of you every day. Why? But that's 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 what girls like now, I guess. So. Yeah, I don't understand yep. that at all. I, it's just, she don't even look. I saw a picture. I guess more. What? Huh? No, I decided not to say some of the things I was about to say. <laughs> say it. No, no, no. It's this gets published. Oh. <laughs> Very this good gets point. Published. Very good point. More pictures of her got leaked, and then I'm looking at it. It's like the damn girl almost a skeleton. I the whole thing just pisses me off. Like I hate I hate Del Rio now. We talked about this last week. I like um, so. Because I used to be a big fan of Del Rio, but I was also a fan of him because it was like Cena Orton, Cena Orton, Cena Orton. It got old, but Del Rio joined. It was like, this guy's awesome. Yeah. Now, he's in like, you know, with uh, the, all the British wrestling and all that stuff. It's like, oh, you suck. <laughs> I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Now, apparently he's a, an abusive asshole. He, you know calls in sick and doesn't perform at shows he's been announced for and then goes out drinking and just have no respect for the dude. None. I just I just don't get they let Emma go because she don't want to do something stupid yeah, Paige like that. Is still, but Paige is still there. I don't know. She must make that much money for them. Still? <sighs> yeah, it is weird to see who stays and who goes. Yeah. Yeah, but... Sawyer Fulton or whatever his name was. He doesn't deserve to get released. I feel like he was... Something must have happened. Like, what I assume happened is they were like, alright, you're insanity. They, he's got a good role. And then he must have just had some more matches where he just wasn't improving. And they were like, alright, forget it. Well, last time we saw him, he looked like he was insanity, but he wasn't. What do you mean? When we saw him in Ocala. We've seen him on TV. He's in Insanity. That sounds just weird to say. He's in Insanity. <laughs> no, he, I think he was a long time ago. Yeah. But he, didn't, he got replaced by Killian Dane, didn't he? I didn't think From so. what I understood. Oh, because Sawyer got injured. And then we saw him re- fairly recently in Ocala, and he still looked like he was in Insanity. And I thought the match he had was good that night. But yeah. He's, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. And he's also been 37 different characters. Yeah. Maybe this will be good for him. Because we know he's not a bad wrestler. So he's not bad. He just needs to go to the Indies and develop a character and get better. It's just, we saw, like, for real, like, I don't know how many characters we saw him as. I would, if I had a guess, I would say seven. I was about to say seven. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a lot. Almost, and, I don't think we've ever seen him as the same in character. In like two years? He a did that serial longer. killer thing for a little while. The ser- Yeah, the serial killer, weird, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, like fancy music and just coming out and, and being creepy. And, and like, then like, on, I know on the show, like he played the invisible violin all the way out into the parking lot one time. You remember that? No. In one of the shows, yeah. I don't, like, I think he lost. Or maybe he won, so his music was on. And he was, like, because it was the classical music. And he just walked all the way out the front door to where the line is to get into the building. And they followed him all the way out. <laughs> that doesn't even sound good on paper. No, it wasn't good on TV either. <laughs> but it was a, I mean, a bigger <laughs> spot for him as one of the many characters. Yeah, I don't know. He's a weird character. I don't know. He seemed like a weird, weird character, and I guess that's going well. Yeah. I seem like a neat character. Different. Mm, sort of. I need to watch, because I guess he's yeah. feuding with Black. Yeah. So, I need to make sure Black kicks his ass. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> he's another guy that needs to go to 205 Live, for sure. Alistair Black? Yeah. He, later. Later? Yeah. You want to be in NXT for a while? Yeah. So we... I, I need to meet him. <laughs> like, he's... Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, we need to start going to the shows. I don't know when the next one is. I don't know. But... So, black. Would you want to see him join the Shield? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't... The only time I ever want to see him join anybody is if he starts the Sumerian Death Squad again or something like oh, that. Oh, Yeah. 
Like, it's gotta be something in fucking tense. Because he's in tense. Yeah. Like, I don't... Like, Who I do just... you guys want to see join the shield? Okay, we're gonna do that. Yeah. Just deal with that real quick, because I got nobody. <laughs> oh, boy. This was a great idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know anybody either. I thought you guys were gonna have good suggestions. I... Cesaro. The... F- sure? The first person I thought of, though, was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Okay. So we're going way back then like that? <laughs> well, you got to think, he always shows up at the Royal Rumbles. He's always there. And he always got wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Or, uh, like, Mick Foley. <laughs> nah, Nick, he's too extreme for, for the shield. Yeah, he's so too extreme still. He's still too extreme. He's still too extreme. He'll still jump off a fucking cage. <laughs> He'll say it to suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you might as well put Jerry Lawler in that bitch, then. I only said that because I want to Photoshop the best on the Michael Cole <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you can be the third member of the Shield. Just like, look at him like, oh, we got this, guys. Here's my question about that. What's that? Who are the two Shield members? Seth Rollins and Dean. And, uh, Seth and Dean? Yeah. Okay, then. I, like, I'm just Roman's only out because of the signature. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, in the long run. Oh, right. right. I thought that. He's too much of a heel. I don't want him anywhere near anything remotely babyface. I, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing right now. He's with Sammy. Which is awesome. Yeah. That's the only reason <laughs> I need to watch SmackDown now. Sammy Zayn being a heel is, is the best thing in the world. Oh, I saw him. I think he was talking to Shane McMahon. Yeah, we watched that last week. Yeah. Hi. Huh. The big boss, man. The motherfucker already got a vest. He's dead! I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. saw damn near halfway there, too, shit. Axel's still healthy. That bitch like 100 years old. I didn't know we were going with dead people. What? Well, if we're going back like that, I'm going back, too. The man already got a vest. He got a nightstick. And he, he, he was a pure badass. Came. Nah. Glenn Jacobs, really. Okay, I'll give you that. Uh, I I would say Daniel Bryan. CM Punk. But he can't wrestle. Yes. CM Punk. I can see him a little bit with the shield. Yeah. He Well, he started the shield, but then the idea got stolen. Uh, If Ryback is to be believed. Right. I think it was going to be Punk, Seth Rollins, maybe, and the big show. The big show? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine the big show walking down through the crowd, like no. trying to step over the barricade. It wouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then I think Ryback's got a whole thing about how CM Punk was going to be the Shield or something and stole it. I don't know. That, that's a that's a hard, you know. That's something you really got to sit there and think about. Maybe it could be Cena or Orton or. Really, I'm, I'm, tr- I'm trying. To, I'm trying to fit it like. Like the Shield's personality. Yeah. And Cena ain't wouldn't fit that personality. Finn Balor? Nah. I don't no, know. The man Finn really. Balor. AJ Styles. I don't even think AJ would fit that personality of the Shield. Yeah, but I wouldn't think Tyler Black wouldn't either. It's all, I think it comes down to the promos. The club. The both of them. Be a four man faction. Yeah. Yeah. About one. Ma- one night yeah. cameo, and we escalated it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing people from the damn dead and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <you're> resurrecting <laughs> people. Rest in peace, both so, man. Before we get to our big main event talk- topic, because this this does relate to it, I want to briefly talk about one thing we talked on earlier before the show. Uh, um, get Jeff it. Jarrett in the Bullet Club. And then, he, yeah, now he's not. Did anything actually happen, or did they just like, oops? Oh, uh, anything to like fire him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I really think so. But no, so that's <laughs> my thinking. Because I think uh, Finn or someone or the Bucks have said that they don't have a lot of control over the Bullet Club. New, that's New Japan's thing, right? Yeah, it's not their thing, right? After Jeff Jarrett, though, after they like had an influx of members all of a sudden, yeah, and then they they went away. It's almost like the Bullet Club have gained more control. Well, one like, Maybe. when built up, yeah, that's probably the reason why they kicked them out of that shit. 
He tr- he in there trying to get all his secrets and all that. You know what I mean? He was like, yeah, he just wasn't, wasn't treating any guy as well. And I think he was just a flat out fucking drunk at the time. And but I just wonder, shit. did New Japan say, okay, we're putting Jared in the Bullet Club, and it didn't go over well, and then the Bucks and whoever else was in it at the time was like, all right, none of this bullshit. We're not we're not dealing with you putting random people in our faction. Maybe yeah, it kind of seems that way. I can, I can see that happening. Who's been right added to it recently? Bullet Club? Uh, or Ro- Cody Rhodes? Marty? Uh, that Chase Owens guy. I'm not sure who he who? is. The guy who was the genie in the... Oh, okay. I think he's part of it. Uh, you gotta remember, like, Scott Hall's kid was in there. That's not um, a bad move, though. I forgot. Members, and I don't... Like, we know the elite, but... Right, and that, I feel like, clearly seems like a... Okay, in case this thing implodes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I hope the Gorillas of Destiny are still in there. Yeah, I and mean, they still have Bullet Club colors, and yeah, uh, they just got a new member. Uh, the, 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 he's running for mayor, a guy named Glenn Jacobs. Oh. <laughs> Did oh. you see this? Mm. Glenn Jacobs made, like, Glenn Jacobs for mayor shirts, and it's, like, very much Bullet Club designed. Hey, that's easy way on for winning right there. I vote for him. But it's, like... The Bullet Club can't use WWE designs, but this WWE guy is using Bullet Club designs. That's funny. <laughs> but I know it works. Oh, at, at one point, I thought the Bullet Club was going to be like the NWO Wolfpack and the NWO Hollywood. It seems like it might they go that way. They had too many damn elite. members at one point. Yeah, they'll have... The then all of a sudden, you had the freaking Mexican and NWO shit, and then you had the Puerto Rican and NWO. And it was fucking... Yeah. That shit yeah, was but crazy. I think it's like gang warfare. An important thing that we don't consider when it's like they have too many members, it's going to blow. That stuff seems to happen in Japan because chaos is huge. There's like a million chaos members. Right. I think that's just a thing in Japan where like they'll have a huge faction. Like teams almost. Because there's chaos. The fucking football team. And whoever pro wrestling Noah, they had like a faction for a while that was like a lot of people. Is the Pitbull the... The MMA guy. Uh huh. His faction. It's not chaos. I don't think. I could be wrong. There's a third faction, pretty prominent faction in New Japan. Lij, is that what you're talking about? Maybe. Oh, and the Los Ingobernables. Yeah. They're, I think they're a pretty large faction. I don't think they're that big. I think there's like four or five of them. That's okay. it. Okay. But it just seems like Japan in general just has like. This is... These guys... I know you get a lot of things like Team New Japan. Yeah. Like, it'll be, like, everyone who's not... Which makes sense. And then, like, they're gonna take on, like, another company, like Noah. Yeah. Or... Whatever. But, uh... Speaking of New Japan... Thing you're super excited for. Yes. We're all super excited for. Yes. We talked about this. I know we talked about this on the last episode. We may have talked about it on the episode before. You know how much Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega actually dislike each other. They used to be friends. They dislike each other. Right, Brian? Right. It's, it's real. It's real. I, I believe it <laughs> 10,000%. Your shit, son. Why do people... I just feel like wrestlers are just the best liars in the world. Yeah, next to you magicians. You believe them. <laughs> I hate saying that. Magicians and then pro wrestlers right underneath. Yeah. Don't. Politicians <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah, they're on their own little scummy level. <laughs> but, um, it just, like, if a wrestler ever says to you, yeah, I actually hate that guy. Ryback and CM Punk are a perfect example. CM Punk hates Ryback. Ryback hates CM Punk. That could totally be a work. Right. I think Invertible may be, just because it keeps coming up. It could be. It could just be those two guys just texting each other like, hey, you should say this about me on Twitter. <laughs> Sometimes they do that shit, though. I 110% believe that. Yeah, I, I think it's exactly true. Exactly what happened with Omega and Jericho. That's, that's how I started following it. Yeah. I was scrolling through Twitter, also I see somebody retweeted with uh, Ken, uh Jericho said about Omega. So I'm like, oh shit, here we go, no, oh shit. Yeah. And I got deeper into it. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. I got deeper into it. These motherfuckers hate each other. 
It's just like this whole Bullet Club versus WWE thing. It's not real. Like I said in the past, they coming. Yeah. And go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. ahead, ahead. It's just, I but okay, but I also wonder, and I I know this isn't true. The idiots that are fooled by this are they actually just messing with us? I don't think so. They're paid (laughs) paid actors to fuck with our minds. Oh, well, the people on Reddit that are, like, all upset about it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. I just don't understand it. But uh, what are we excited about? Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12. The WrestleMania right there. That's the WrestleMania match. That is incredible. That's the fucking main event at WrestleMania. Uh, that is WrestleMania. That is, huh? So, <laughs> who's champion in New Japan right now? Is it Okada? Last I saw, but I don't keep up with it a thousand percent. Right. Uh, I did see that uh, Marty Skrull just won Junior Heavyweight Champion. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, Sokata. I cannot I thought believe so. this has happened. Tanahashi is Intercontinental. Uh, yep. United States is Kenny Omega. Yep. Never open weight is Minoru Suzuki. And there's more. And um, there's yeah. more. <laughs> So this match is going to be incredible. That's enough reason to watch Wrestle Kingdom right there. As if we needed a reason to watch, any other reasons yeah. to watch Wrestle Kingdom. We that, missed that the just, last one. Right? That just I, made I watched Wrestle, it. That just made it a thousand times better. Yeah. Because now they get WWE fans staying up watching that now because of Chris Jericho. Then yeah. they're going to see the product that New Japan going to put out there because they got to watch the whole thing to get to that match. Sure. Yeah, it's not going to be opening match. Yeah, so they can now. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to get Jr. to commentate on it. Somebody's going to come back. Yeah, they'll have. An they'll probably get Matt Striker because he's like the Ryan Seacrest of pro wrestling. Yeah, and <laughs> and, and Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> and Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> How weird would that be? That would be incredible. Would be I can't cool. even imagine For Chris that. Hardwick. <laughs> and uh, Jr. I yeah. think they need to get Jr. You you would imagine Jr. and Jericho would be friends. Yes, absolutely. So, I think Jr. 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 would have been like the talent acquisition person. That is yeah. a humongous match. Yeah. You need the best comment. Jr. is and was the attitude era. Yeah. yeah, and he he commentated nine, Wrestle Kingdom nine. Is that the one we started watching it yeah. on? Yeah. So he was a commentator for that. So he he would definitely be there. Yeah, he, he would definitely be. be there. Or Paul Heyman, which won't happen just because of WWE reasons. Oh. Right. But <laughs> so sad. Brooks is so sad. Because Heyman and Jericho are very close as well. Hey, that's, Jer- uh, Heyman gave Jericho his first job in the United States of America. Mm-hmm. But nobody knows that. You know that. We know that because we're smart wrestling fans. Right. What are you pointing at? Uh, well, nothing to do with the show. Right. I was just pointing at the cat. It's an so, angry cat. Cat was being funny. Oh. Cat was just sitting there facing the wall up on its cat tree. Oh. Just, like <laughs> facing the wall like it was in timeout. Because I put her up there. She was in my bed and she was like annoying me. So I put her back up yeah. there. Yeah. And she just Did had you like. Did see her meow what? at me when I walked over there? Mm-hmm. What? It's on the show. God damn. Look, yeah. she was in my bed. Nobody want to hear that shit. My <laughs> cat? That's totally this, normal. This is now the cat podcast. That's right. She oh, was upset with me. Jericho, That's how we adjust on the podcast. Jericho, about Omega, cats. and a pussy in bed. You know, what's going on? <laughs> it's my cat. Don't be gross. I'm not... Be- <laughs> what? He wasn't gross? That's, That's what we exactly call cats. That's exactly what happened. That's not what you call a cat. This is a cat. A pussy. It's not a pussy. This is a cat. <laughs> you need to damn those out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's okay, what? kitty. A woman and her cat. I don't know. She's mad at me. She's just... Don't even go in there, cat. So this whole part of the podcast just wants to be... Damn, 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 damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Damn that. Damn yeah, that right now. Damn out the... He said the P word. Pussy? Jacob. <laughs> I'm telling him. What? It's, it's what that thing is. What the hell is going on? so mad at me? I don't understand. We was talking about the best wrestling match ever. They were interrupted. That's what happens when we record in this house. She's like, There's no... 
She's still hung up on the cat. No, because she's like rubbing on my leg, but she's pissed at me. She won't let me hold her. So you know what? You know what will help if you walk that work. way. Turn around and walk towards the room. And shut the door. Jeremy, shut the fuck up. Damn. Oh, we we were at the store the other day or <laughs> last night. Is this become the future villains podcast? Yeah. Where tell stories now. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't can't story. Was I in it? Yeah, just oh, the the God. game I found, the cat game. What? <clears throat> the cat game. Oh my god, that was so cool! I don't know what the game was, but it was called the cat game. Was the front was well. like fur. Have you seen the tiny exploding kittens or whatever? The fuck are we talking about? <laughs> cats. The internet loves cats. <laughs> the internet want to hear us talk about Kenny Omega and exploding Chris kittens. I've heard. Is <laughs> it? Did you, what did you say? You heard what the hell I said? Did you say Kitty Omega or Kenny Omega? You want me to say I Kitty? Heard Kitty Omega. You want me to say Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Kitty Omega is a thing. She's still mad. She's if not, Kitty we and the need fucking to... whiskers are coming out in the fight now. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> That's what the na- name of the episode, Kitty Omega. <laughs> We're just the cat podcast. I don't know what she wants. It's the, a cat, maybe. We'll call the know. one that Jess interrupted in. I know. Oh, that's everyone. I don't interrupt everyone. What the hell are you doing right now? Interrupting? Yeah. Well, Brian, Brian knock, started knock. it with his look. Like, he looked like what the... Viewers or listeners or whatever don't know oh. is that. Just I, I don't my, know if I get damn every word you're saying. So shut up. You don't edit it. <laughs> that is <laughs> why true. Don't you, why don't you, should, you slow your roll? That's that. a very good point. You slow your roll. Shit, we trying to do stuff. It was Brian's fault. He uh, was he was looking well, over at the cat, and then I had to go over there to see what she was doing. And okay, she meowed okay. at me like It's three it's times. Brian. Man, thank you. We're on the <laughs> show. Are you kidding? Yeah, who the hell is Brian? <laughs> His name is Brian. Who? Yeah, mate. We that's. <sighs> Stop talking to her. She'll go away. I won't. She won't. All right. Well, now that she's on the show, is is her audio good? Does she need to move closer? I, to I'm assuming it's good. You might as well sit down. <laughs> There's another All right. My head. Come talk with us about uh, Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. I'm, I'm stepping on my cat now. Don't do See, that. we go with the fucking cat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't sit on my hat. I'm gonna. Uh, so, and we, supposedly, WWE is what? They're getting a star from New Japan? Because that's what I read. Like, since Chris Jericho is going over there for Wrestle Kingdom, now, but, now uh, New, uh, blah, 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 New Japan saying they'll give us, I say us, like we fucking apart <laughs> WWE. <laughs> we are. <laughs> what are we getting? We, we are getting Okada. We're we're on, on, our rest, on our right podcast. Here. On our WrestleMania we, we podcast. We get a superstar. <laughs> From New Japan to go to WrestleMania. Who is that gonna be? I don't think it matters. I'm out. Like Chris okay. Now that we're actually talking. Uh Chris Jericho going to Japan, big fucking deal. Yeah. Anybody from New Japan coming over here? Gonna get destroyed. I'm I'm sorry, I don't that, think it no, matters. that's how I feel about it. Like who? Like even if we get Okada or Tanahashi, they're two biggest stars. I say they don't nobody We have their away. biggest star. Nakamura. Yeah, I know. It, it, <laughs> And what is he doing? He's not. He's not. You know, floundering, but he's also not exactly. He's he's not on top like he needs to be. I, he, what he I would get want, used like he should be getting used. What I would want to happen is like an Okada versus Nakamura WrestleMania match, or a straight up WWE versus New Japan match. What if it was Okada versus John Cena, and they let Okada have his giant ass entrance with the money? Yeah, and just well, that's what it would need to be. It needed to be billed as New Japan versus WWE. Yeah. That would make it a big deal, not like oh, our new guy Okada versus versus Cena. Right? Yeah, exactly. Because <clears throat> it's like, all right, well, who's Okada? Well, he's this guy from New Japan. But no, if it is definitely New Japan, it is the company represented by Okada. That's a bigger deal. Yeah, and have, it ain't gonna be the same as Jericho going over there. So it, it, they might as well not even it, give us nobody. It's not going to be as important to us, but they could make it just as big or bigger. No, so. if they did it right. Because like, no, if, so. like if they I, did, I think they screwed up. If they did it right, like everyone in Japan, so many people in Japan know who Chris Jericho is. Yeah, like, that's definitely. the thing. No one here. Did you hear that crowd? Really? They yeah. Lost their shit. Yeah. Um, no one here really knows who Okada is unless you nah. follow Japanese wrestling or you yeah, know. Or if it's on a network. But yeah. that's why it would need to start soon as to like the promotion of Okada, this guy from New Japan. And they need to, before Okada even comes out, 
They need to have, like, the New Japan representatives come out with their roses and their plaques and everything oh, else. Hey, oh, that sounds <laughs> so beautiful, but you already know it's going to get fucked up by the time they come over here. Yeah, none of this will happen ever. <laughs> but then Rainmaker Okada comes out and just, it's raining money. And, I mean, he Would gets... put him over? Yeah. He gets WrestleMania entrances everywhere yeah. he goes. Who would he fight besides John Cena? Cause it's, it's, I, I think it would need to be John Cena. Or Nakamura. i say Triple H. Okay. I'm okay with Why that. Why not, you know? Well, suppose we're going to get yeah. Angle versus Triple H for WrestleMania. That would be pretty cool. That's yeah. going back to the old days. So I like that. Um, But other than that, Brock Lesnar? No, nah, that's just too oh. That's too long. I wonder if they've ever fought. Uh, I don't think so. Can Brock? I found Brock Lesnar versus Nakamura back from like '95. Was it good? It was pretty good. Was it? Yeah, it was all right. Hey, a big star from WWE. Yeah. Right there. Big star from New Japan. But I just, I just got this feeling that whoever we get from New Japan, why am I saying we? (laughs) (laughs) We. Whoever You're they, so mad at yourself too. Because we don't like WWE, right? I, I, I they piss me off, homie. Nah. Whoever they don't they, listen to me enough. Love hate relationship. I, I sit on fan mail like every fucking day and I don't get nothing back. Anyway, we do a podcast every week. Hey, whoever they get, yeah. I just feel like it's, they're gonna screw that person up to a point where when they get done with everything they do with WWE, it's like who the fuck you don't come back. That, that's why New Japan would have to have a lot to do with it in order for them I don't, to If Vince won't let that shit happen, though, that's his baby. Yeah, you're right. And that's why this whole conversation is kind of pointless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Unless Triple I don't H, like, like speculation. Whoop so. his ass and put him in the coma until like, after WrestleMania or some shit. <laughs> so Triple H can run it. Because if Triple H ran it, it will be run. Ran the right way. Triple H just needs to start slowly drugging. He needs to just vents. whoop his ass, throw him off the roof or some shit. Jeez. Blow his car up. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody smile. He's walking to death. <laughs> but I'm just... Yeah, oh, God. Damn, damn you, WWE. This is, this is why we can't have nice things. That is true. <laughs> it's That's that guy that. right there. That's yeah. very nice, true. You know why else we can't have nice things? There's another huge match. And it's going to happen this Monday. Nah. Car on a pole match. A who? Oh, I heard first person <laughs> to play Wonderwall wins. What do you say? <laughs> Elias Simpson versus Jason Jordan. Guitar on a pole match. A guitar on a pole match? Yeah. What Speaking of jump, Jared. Listen, we were having a really interesting, intelligent <coughs> conversation. I had to bring it back down to WWE levels. <laughs> a guitar on the pole match. Yep. They brought back, uh, what's his face? Jeff Jarrett? No, the other douchebag. Hong Kong man. What? You just have a stroke. I did. You just He's having a stroke next. I'm like, I have one. It's going around. Hong Kong man. I heard man. I'm going to dump the honky tonky. No, that's what I said. The honky tonk man. You said I'm going to rump them? Yeah. Oh, shit, let me get out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Brian, you did grow your beard out. Vince Russo, that's who I'm thinking of. Oh. I thought you were he talking put about everything on a pole. He what what match did they have in WCW <laughs> involved like pills or something? Huh? Didn't they have a match like at Starcade with all like pills? You to... <laughs> it was some kind of match. Oxycontin on a pole? No, match? I think it was like Viagra or some shit. You could have done that back in the day. It was in WCW. Viagra on a pole? Yeah. It a... Was it Ric Flair versus somebody? They had somebody's oh. mom on a pole. <laughs> well, Jess's cat on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Yeah, I heard you like poles. We put poles in your poles. <laughs> a guitar on a pole match. Yeah. Now can they use a guitar? I'm assuming so. I but then the match will be over if they took it down. So. Yeah, but just swing it at somebody, you know shit. No, I, I I heard though, the first person to play Wonderwall, completely. Wait, who in it? Uh, is it like Sam versus Jason Jordan? Kurt Angle song? Yeah. You gotta be Stop. fucking kidding me. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I just pretend like that doesn't exist. Dude, last week... Like, we it's the first three Star Wars movies. We were so confused last week. 
Because Elias Samson was on stage, and somebody was throwing lettuce at him. It turned out to be Jason Jordan. And like what, an hour later, yeah. Elias Samson's on the stage He's again. doing He's it again. Throwing lettuce at him. Brian's like, why are they replaying this? And I was like, I don't know. And no, it was just... It was another were, time. Just exact same bit. He was doing it again. <laughs> the exact same bit. So they, on a they pay per view. from SmackDown to throw lettuce at somebody and put a guitar on a pole I match guess. and he got to be in it? And like I say, I say this, I guarantee I say this every show. Could you imagine if you paid the thirty nine ninety nine to watch that? Thirty nine for what? <laughs> the old cost for pay per views before the network. Like Seventy dollars. Well, even like a cheap pay per view was like I'm going cheap. I paid eighty five for WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania. Hey, what cheap pay per view? So I think the rest of them were sixty or seventy. They all was over fifty bucks. Yeah. I know the uh, the cheap TNA ones were. Oh, well, I, I ain't fucking doing TNA. Okay, so imagine, can you imagine if you paid 50 bucks to watch someone get lettuce thrown at them twice me, in a show? Yeah, can you maybe. imagine me going to Walmart looking for no TV? <laughs> this is why I don't want to go to WWE shows. This is why the network was a bad idea. St- no, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's great. Because <laughs> uh, then we'd never watch I don't know what to say. But yeah, I... This I don't is why I was going to NXT shows. I just don't. I don't want to go to devalues pay per views. Devalues everything for me apparently because I just have no desire to go to them. But. A guitar on a pole match. Yeah, that's what up there with the Omega versus shit Jericho. Is that? I don't know. It's just on Raw SmackDown. Uh, Raw. Tuh. What? What? The... You know, you know what I wish? I'm going to pitch something to WWE right now. What if it was a theremin on a pole match, though? Would that make a difference? How about we just have an extreme match? Tables, ladders, and chairs, fucking guitars on the rain bullshit. Here's the thing. Here's I, I'm going to fix Raw right now. Okay? Uh, fantasy booking. Let's go. Cut an hour. Two hour show. Amen. Cut a half hour. Hour and a half show. 45 minutes. An hour. Yeah, an hour. Of good wrestling. Less House drama. show quality wrestling. Less talking, more wrestling. With about 30 minutes dedicated to a main storyline. Right now it would be Raw versus SmackDown. The rest of it being Intercontinental Championship matches, U.S. Championship matches, minor storyline. So you're basically saying go back to the old way. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. I agree yeah. with that. Could I, hey, Bring back the hardcore title. I'm tired of sleeping <laughs> in the third hour. Yeah. I, I just, I can't watch it anymore. I tried. I don't have enough time. A couple months ago, I tried sitting and watching Raw, and I was just, yeah, I was starting to fall asleep. I got tired after the first hour. I just went back and watched football. I tell you, the one of the people that got me into wrestling was my uncle, and he he can't stay awake that long. He's like, I, I catch sometimes. People so got to shit me, to do next day. That's WWE breaking a fan. Yeah. And I watch, when I do did watch. It was on Hulu, and I got the 90-minute version. Which is great. Yeah, but... So it wasn't That's like the perfect watch version. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't really know what they cut out, except for all the commercials. They cut out a bunch of random matches. <clears throat> they need to go back to, the, like you said, Jacob, go back to the way. Yeah. Have the titles on the line like they used to do back in the day. I challenge you, put the belt on the line. Go to the ring, let's go. Ding, 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 fight them. Perfect. That yeah. makes people watch. Just just good wrestling. The champion, whoever has the belt, is actually on a fucking show. <laughs> that, But that's a whole other thing, because that, in general, yes, but Brock Lesnar is also a big attraction. So when he is on the show, well, it's a big He deal. kind of is a big attraction that's kind of getting annoying. But that's also the storyline right now, that he's not on all the shows. We'll have a champion again it's pretty like, soon. When I really have Brock Lesnar on a, Well, actually, you know what? Shit. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Shit, I really have him with that bullshit. Oh, that yeah, shit definitely. There's, stupid. I think once Brock is done, then we're going to start getting, you know, uh, AJ versus Finn versus Owens versus Sammy versus, you know, who. We're going to start getting the newer generation of people. Yeah, I don't even think they'll do that right, to be honest with you. It's going to take time. Just, it should be built up right now. We might be nuked and dead by the time that shit get right. Yeah. It just. Oh, God. If they can just at least cut it down to two hours, that's a start. Yeah, that's, that's a, a realistic start. start. I'll, I'll take that. Less freaking shooting promos where the camera looks away and they're staring at the roof and, you know, it's like... Dun, dun, dun. What are you talking about? You know, at the end of the promo, they're like, and I will. 
beat his ass. And they look like this, and the camera fades away that way. <laughs> well, that's just shit stupid. <laughs> but, you know, this is another <laughs> thing. When Triple H takes over, Triple H loves the NXT format, the hour-long show. Yeah. So I don't think we're ever going to get down to an hour. How long is a promo in NXT? I think a lot of the promos are on YouTube. But in general, there's like one storyline they do a promo for, I think. And it keeps people interested in the product. A lot of the promos just happen in the ring. and That's what they need to do on the main roster. But they also they they also do a pay-per-view every, what, three months? Yeah. So Instead that's of why yeah, three a month. We don't need promos every single show. We can like, here's this storyline, or right, next storyline, or right, next storyline, and pay-per-view. Oh yeah, yeah that storyline that's two months old, that's still in the pay-per-view. The cool thing about NXT is they'll do like like the promo, vignette, whatever, in like the middle of the show that has to do with the main event. Yeah. Yeah. And like though there might be like short little promo vignette things throughout the show, but they're short. They don't take a lot of the show. It's more action than promo. Right. And when I first, after uh, wrestling school and all that, when I first decided to start watching wrestling again, and this was probably like eight years ago, uh, I started to watch Raw. I watched an entire episode of Raw, the three hours. There was 15 minutes of wrestling. And I said, Fuck this. Yeah, it's gotten way better since it's then. A, it has gotten better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, just, I literally timed it. it I had my bad. phone Somebody, and I timed it. It was bad. When, when the whole authority thing was happening, they had a 45-minute promo or something yeah. at the beginning of the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's bad. That was Triple H, too, but that must have been somebody telling them to do that. That's when he first started off, though. Yeah. But now he's been in that position this long. He sees what the fans want. And, what, he's, and he got a good vision and everything, too. What needs to happen, though, is, like, <clears> as good <throat> as he is a talent acquisition, we need JR back in that job. Like, yeah, I don't even yeah. need, like, commentator. I get that he wouldn't want to do that because that's a lot of travel. But well, JR could go get some uh, good-ass talent. Look in. at who he got. He got, you know, Chris Jericho. Uh... Wow, I could have told you everybody not too long ago. <laughs> Mick Foley. And the main one, Mick Stone Foley. Cold. Yeah. Stone, that's right, Stone Cold, yeah, absolutely. That's, 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 that's the main one, yeah, because him and Stone Cold got a relationship to a point where, like, when Stone Cold left, Ben sent him to, ha- to handle it. Stone Cold came back. Yeah. We Nobody. would get a lot of horror stories, but JR and Paul Heyman as the talent acquisition guys would be incredible. See, this is... <sighs> They would be pretty I, I interesting. I love Paul Heyman. Yeah. They need to give Paul Heyman his show back. Uh, I don't think he wants his show back. If if they, Paul, let's do this. We got Monday. They, first of all, they don't need to have SmackDown on Tuesdays. I mean, if you're talking about a violent show, that's never going to happen again. Not that much violence. Okay. Not like like ECW, but less blood. Yeah. But. It's not for the kids, though. It's for us. Sure. I think that's what NXT is, though. You know what I mean? It's like, Paul, his mind is so awesome. It's like, what he wants, we want. Yeah. More fucking action. Cut the bullshit. Give the fans what they want. I wish he had his his own show where he can pay his workers. (laughs) That is a very good point. Yeah. I mean, Triple H seems to be in charge of Raw... Why not give Heyman and Daniel Bryan SmackDown? I don't know. Daniel Bryan. Just How by about what they give Daniel Bryan two hundred five? Yes. Okay. Have so Smackdown. that would yeah, that would probably be ideal. And give Heyman SmackDown. Yeah. And everybody else can fuck off. Yeah. Let them do what they know what to do. Absolutely. SmackDown like, would be the SmackDown would be like the old SmackDown. Fucking amazing. Smack, the new SmackDown's been amazing. Land of Opportunity with AJ Styles and everything. Shane hours. McMahon and Daniel Bryan are doing an incredible job. You know job. what? And it's only two hours long. Yeah. That's why I, I do feel bad saying give Heyman SmackDown. Because I can't talk shit about Shane. Because he is doing really good. He is. He is. So, yeah. They, but yeah, two hours long. It's live. It's, I don't, yeah. What did you say a minute ago? Why is it on Tuesday? Yeah. I, just, yeah, I don't like Tuesday. 
Look, make it back on Thursday, you know, the old We're way. Friday, I think Friday would be better. Friday wasn't that bad. Or Saturday, even. It just wasn't Friday Friday's not so. a good time. No? People go out Friday nights. Yeah, yeah it, it, will, it will work true. out for me football season. Yeah. Thursday nights ain't that bad. Like what it used to be. on Thursday? But here's the problem, though. It wasn't live. Right. The shit was fake. As you knew what was going to happen. Then they started doing everything live. They yeah. made it better. Yeah. There must be a reason why they went live and moved it to Tuesday. Like, there must be a logistical reason. I'm sure. Because wasn't it <clears throat> filmed Tuesdays anyway? Uh, something yeah, it like was. that. Yeah. It was, it was filmed. If you look at the old videos, it was filmed in the same arena as Raw. Yeah. The next day. Then they played it on Thursday or Friday, whatever it was. Is that what they do? That's what they did. Well, what about now, though? Like, they, 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 they don't go to a different arena. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, and then they just need the video truck. I think there's just one video truck. I, I'm talking on my ass. They, 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 <laughs> cut, they cut down with a lot of stuff. That's why you see... You know WWE know. has more than one video truck. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. I think... I okay, but know. there's one crew. It's, you know... Right. They cut... They fire and got rid of a lot of people, though, because of money problems. That's why you see the, the stages and stuff, they all the same. Yeah. They ain't different on what sucks. Yeah, I hate that. Cause I love the the, the different stuff. I miss man. the fist. Yeah, oh, I, I was about to say the fist. fist. That fist was awesome. We need more fisting. <clears throat> I missed <laughs> the, the old pay per view stage. <laughs> wow. Hit <laughs> 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 you. you like a fist. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, the old. Like, I love playing the video games. Like the backlash with the hooks that were. Dude, moving. like for, yeah. In what Orlando, the, in the house in Orlando, I got Raw and SmackDown 2010. Pay per views and you got Judgment Day and you got and, they, and it's like oh, it's crazy. We kind of got that. that with TLC with the hanging chairs and stuff, but it was very lazy. But I if you look at that. the backdrop, it's the same <laughs> screen and the same lights yeah. as Raw and shit. All I did was the just take the chairs out. Bothers and Raw. me a lot. I miss the old stages and stuff. I yeah. just, I just <laughs> that was cost them just an exorbitant amount of money. <laughs> but they're making so much money. They probably no, make so much more cost, money now than the they did Raw then. The old Raw set, how did that cost more money than what they're using now? No, no, I mean just building a whole new set for every fucking pay-per-view. Oh, hell, it was only once a month, shit. Yeah. Back then it was. Yeah, but now yeah, it's yeah. three a month. <laughs> yeah. Four or five a month, who knows. It's like shit, the old Raw set was just a Titantron and a, like, a Titantron. Yeah. Now they got like LED lights all over the whole fucking arena. That's the thing, we lost the unique... Paper views now we just got them fucking screens everywhere. Yeah, you got freaking the turnbuckle poles got screens on it. Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, it's very unnecessary. It makes some of the entrances kinda cool, but it's mostly unnecessary. But like I said before, and I'll say it again. Say it again. New Japan's coming. Yeah. And they come in with a, oh I'm just I'm letting y'all watch. After this match with Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, and mark my words. Jericho joining the Bullet Club. Oh, I think so. I think so. Ten thousand percent. You think Omega's out? No. Yeah. No. 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 Look <clears> here. <throat> Here's another wrinkle. Look mm-hmm. at Gallows and Luke, whatever his name, Anderson, whatever. The, Gallows and Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Look at them. You see what they're doing right now in WWE? No. Nothing. <laughs> I don't. I, I saw an article where they someone said that they removed. They did. I looked it up. The WWE from yeah. all their profiles. You look and at stuff. The, you look at their Twitter profile. Nothing says WWE on none of that shit. That would make me sad. It, it was the I'm same day that. Finn posted the tombstone that just said bye. Yeah, I remember that. Look here. After the match with Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, you look up over that ramp. You got the old Club. Bullet Club all together again. That'd be pretty crazy. I'm telling you right now. The motherfuckers are coming, and they're coming full force. And Triple H know it, too. Why do you think Triple H doing all this shit? That's why the Bullet Club's already been, almost all the Bullet Club's already been signed for the the Chris Jericho cruise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a coming, boys. What if Jericho pulls some crazy stuff, like storyline stuff on the cruise? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be. Oh, I just got fired up, man. We need to get tickets for this cruise. How much is it? I don't like, oh, I don't like cruise much. boats. I don't like that shit. Cruise boats are bad. I'm scared of boats. Oh, that's right. Especially cruise boats. I don't trust them. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you can slap the ribs and look outside. They gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on now. Explain to me how that happens. Did you have another stroke? 
No, the WWE fired no, him. I ain't had no stroke. I just got hungry. Look here. Cruise ships are a waste of money. Explain. You get a fucking eating buffet and all that shit. Oh, that yeah. shit was good. You go outside, you bounce up, and I look at the water, pluck, it's gone. You ain't going more. Fuck all that shit. I ain't got time for that. I've never been sick on a cruise ship. I just don't like water. Yeah, he doesn't. You I know, can't swim. I'm he black. Can't, I can't, can't swim. swim. Can't swim. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to boat. I didn't want to bring it up. He said it first. <laughs> I just repeated what he was saying. You know what, though? For like, if Chris Jericho say, Brooks, come on the boat, I'm already on the boat. Even yeah, though right? he say, come on the boat. But I won't, I'll bring a shit ton of moonshine. A shit ton of NyQuil. <laughs> and I'll drop myself up. And I'm night. telling you, man. You lay down and that boat's rocking. It's like... Yeah, I lay down and I'm rocking in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> it rocks me to sleep. I never slept better than I slept on a cruise ship. So I want to go on a cruise so NyQuil bad. You give me some porn, I'm already past that. I don't need no fucking boat. Now. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, you know... Dude. I'm about to go take some NyQuil, guys. So Yeah, yeah, yeah let's wrap it up. Thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Heels Podcast. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it on iTunes. You cannot find it on SoundCloud anymore because SoundCloud's dying. Uh, you can find it on our website, futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. I did that at the LAN party last night, and they were like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah, I do that sometimes twice a week. Damn. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Best in the Realm. Facebook, Best in the Realm Gaming. Instagram is Best in the Realm. I took all the underscores out. I was able to do that. Good job. Um, I've got a shitload of Destiny content coming out. I have I have put 70 hours into Destiny since the 24th. I haven't put 70 <laughs> hours into work since the 24th. <laughs> Just kidding, I work all the oh, damn Destiny's time. Oh, so fucking good. But you can find me at Twitter at Brian25 <clears throat> or Instagram Brian1138. You can find me on Twitter J J Jeremy Brooks 42 on Instagram J Brooks 42 Facebook Jeremy Brooks. If you follow me, if I don't follow you back, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you also might block you. But thank you for listening, guys. Also, go check out the Future Villains podcast from last week. Me and Bob. Uh, we hung out in the farm on Destiny and talked about Destiny. And hopefully here in about an hour or so, we'll be recording another podcast. Unless you guys want to record another one right now. In about an Destiny. hour or so? <laughs> about an hour or so, you can record me snoring. Right. You're like, this is the Sleep Apnea Podcast. <laughs> the Slapnea Podcast? The Slapcast? All right, let's stop. <laughs>